everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Today I'm going to show you around the 2021 KZ Escape. Now this model is the E17 hatch, which means the back end of the trailer opens up, huge hatch, you get a beautiful view, it's quite extraordinary. This trailer is a total of 22 feet long, it weighs a little over 3,200 pounds, great product. Let's go inside and check out the details. The first thing you'll notice in here is the light coloring. They've got the light cabinets, light walls, a white marble style countertop. And I really like the floor because it's got some kind of a, a weathered wood look on it. The bedroom is so open. It's just to the right as you walk in the door. Windows on all three sides and storage. The storage in this trailer is so impressive. Let's start right up here. Two big cabinet doors, and these cabinets really can hold a lot. The base of it is about two feet deep. Now, the front of the trailer is curved, so the top is not that deep, but that still can hold an awful lot of gear up there. Uh, it is one continuous cabinet all the way across. The light right underneath. Uh, on the front, they've also got the wood look on that front wrap. It just gives it a really nice warm feeling. Now there is a bedspread as an option, but we don't have that in this trailer. Um, I was tempted to put one on here, uh, because I, but I didn't want to confuse you in thinking that it came with the trailer. Up on this front wall is two USBs and the 120 volt plug on the other side. All three windows are gonna have this black pleated shade, so it's a great blackout shade for when you're sleeping. Now this bed is similar to a queen. It is 80 inches long, just like a queen bed, and you will find that there is a little bit of space on each end, so you could push the mattress one way or the other to have some space for glasses, a book, or maybe some extra storage. The width of it is 54 inches, which is a little more narrow than the standard queen bed. You still should be just fine with queen sheets, however, so uh, that will make it easy enough. Um, the storage on the side is really impressive because there is a wardrobe right here. Let's take a look at that. Now in here is a real nice size hanging closet and a shelf underneath. Now these are about two and a half feet deep, so this is quite a bit of space in here for clothing. Underneath, you've got one more space. Let's take a peek. Obviously you could add shelving or you could fit larger items, backpacks, anything like that, big boots. Under the bed, you do have more storage access as well. Let's see if I can show you that. Lift up the mattress and there is a panel that opens here. Now on the left side here, you will see that's where the water tank is and that is also where your water heater is. Easy access to all these water lines and the water pump. If you need to check it, do any repairs, anything like that, super easy to get to. And the majority of the space on the right-hand side is all going to be storage. And it's accessible from right here. It's also accessible from the outside compartment. So drop that down, easy to get to really quite a bit of storage right here in this area. Let's move into the center of the trailer. I'm really impressed with the storage in the kitchen. Now, as you walk in the door, you will find up here at the end of the upper cabinet, a few switches. The top one is the switch to turn on and off the inverter. Now I'll show you the inverter a little bit later in an outside compartment, but what that is, that inverter will take the battery power and it will change it to run this 120 volt outlet here in the kitchen. You know, if you're off grid and you need household current, that's what your inverter is for. It's a thousand watt inverter. Again, I'll show it to you outside. 
The switch right here is going to power the 14 foot awning. And next to that, the outside patio light and convenience light right here in the center of the coach. Nice accessible switches right here as you walk in the door. Now underneath, you've got the two 120 volt outlets. And as I said, one of them is connected to the inverter. Next to that, the satellite and the cable connections. In case you wanted to put a TV right here on the end of this counter, there is plenty of counter space for that. You can connect them up right here. And this unit is pre-wired for the Wi-Fi system by King. That connection is right here if you wanted to add it. Now this kitchen has a little of everything, especially for a trailer this size. I really appreciate the counter space on the left. The bamboo cover over this, great for a cutting board. If you pull this up, this is a nice size sink. It's round, it's brushed aluminum and about 10 inches deep. So if you had some large pots you wanted to fit in here, no problem. Very modern faucet. Two burner stove on the right. Just a really a comfortable workspace. Now, one of the things that maybe you will notice isn't in this kitchen is this giant picture window. You do have a window so you can see outside. It's maybe a little smaller, but you know what? I don't mind that in this trailer because we have the three windows on this side with the bedroom, huge open hatch on the other end. Really, it leaves wall space for maybe adding uh, hooks for utensils or any gadgets that you would like to put here or store maybe while you're cooking. It's just a really comfortable kitchen. I love the modern backsplash. It just gives it a little bit of decor without really taking over. You know, this trailer, you could add the bedspread, maybe a rug and a shower curtain that you really love. And this is gonna feel very warm, very uh, comfortable. The storage, great cabinet up here. And it's about two feet deep. So you've got a lot of space. Now you'll notice right up here on the back of this cabinet is the uh, controller for the solar up top. Now with this off-grid package, it comes with a hundred watt solar panel on the top. Wonderful feature right there. Um, you can see the controls if you need to monitor that or see what stage you're at as far as powering your batteries. On the left of that is the stereo. Now this Furion stereo, it's Bluetooth. It's gonna be an AM, FM, it has HDMI, USB, um, another input port here, and it works with the Bluetooth speaker on the other side. On this wall across, there is a portable Bluetooth speaker. It does have USB ports on the side if you have something that you need to charge up, but you can lift this off. It does have a flashlight on it. You can see right there on the end. At this end, there's a hook to hang it if you need to hang it outside. You've also got right in here, some places where you could charge some other devices or plug this in to charge it that way instead of hanging it on the hook. So it's really quite an extraordinary piece of equipment. Hangs right there, so it's always available. And it is your inside speakers. You do have outside speakers. Um, while we're over here, let's just point out a few more things on this wall. You do have the uh, furnace controls right here. This will control the 20,000 BTU furnace that's right below in this kitchen cabinet. And underneath, this top piece is a uh, part of tire link. Now this is actually pre-wired for tire link, which is a tire monitoring program. If you would like to be sure the tires on your trailer are in good shape, because this is the off-grid version, so it has 15 inch aluminum wheels with mud tires. So you can keep a close eye on them if you want to add that. It isn't available from the manufacturer, but easy to add because it's pre-wired and set up for you. Underneath, your carbon monoxide and LP detector right there. It does both, and of course the LP detectors are always close to the floor 
because that LP gas is going to drop down to the floor. That's why you will always find it right at the bottom of the wall. Here is that 20,000 BTU furnace right here. And good time to look at the storage. Storage all the way across in this kitchen. This is such a long counter. It really makes great storage under here. Look at all that space. I think that's really impressive. And one more cabinet here on the end with pull-out trays. Now, these are a nice alternative to having a bank of drawers, partly because they're very easy to slide in and out, but I really like them because it's easy to take them out, take them outside if this is what you grill with. You just grab the whole tray and take it out. The other thing I like about these, super easy to clean. So uh, maybe you had it outside, it got dirty, or drawers just get that way. You just wipe it out. It's perfectly clean, just like new. Slides right back into place. So great system there. Up above is the Furion microwave right here. Let's give you a shot of that. The turntable and right in the center is the air conditioner. Now this is the Coleman Mach air conditioner. It's a 13.5 and it actually has the controls right in the center. Plenty of space in the kitchen, but look, more pantry space here. Three shelves. Now these are really deep, nice for storing just any type of gear, food, whatever it is that you need to carry. You'll notice on the right, there are these three panels. I really appreciate them making a space for these panels because this is what makes the bed on this rear dinette. Those panels are always out of your way, but when it's time to make the bed, you slide them out, drop them down, move the cushions into place, and you've got another sleeping space. Another large storage area right there. Now these lower spaces can be made into anything. It can be gear, it could be clothing, it could be food, just about anything. Now, since we're talking about the kitchen, I wanna to go to the refrigerator next. This is an eight cubic foot Furion. It is a full size refrigerator with full size freezer. And one thing you'll notice about this refrigerator is that it's very deep. You notice it is a long way to the back of the refrigerator, and that's something that you don't see in a lot of RV refrigerators because they have to have coils on the back. This, however, is a 12-volt refrigerator. Now, it's not the 12-volt that you might be thinking of where it's gonna run your battery down in short order. This is a compressor-driven refrigerator by Furion, so it cools very quickly works just like the refrigerator in your house, and it can work for a very long time if you're running solar or if you're plugged in, then it's just constantly recharging your battery and your battery is running the refrigerator. I really have been impressed with how well these 12 volt refrigerators work. Don't let it scare you. You will love these. If you wanna get off the beaten path, it's a great way to go. Now underneath, there's the 120 volt household plug. And next to that is the converter. And that has your breakers and fuses in it. And of course, this converter is what converts that 120 watt voltage when you plug in at a campsite or at your house to the 12 volt, which is the battery current. And it charges your battery at the same time. Before I show you the best part of this trailer, I wanna point out just a few things. There is a tank heater switch and a monitor panel right here next to the refrigerator. Now that tank heater switch is going to turn on the heat pads that are on the tanks underneath to keep them from freezing. Very simple, you get in some cold weather, just switch those on. Underneath here, the monitor panel for the black, gray, and the fresh tank. Now this has 30 gallon fresh, 20 gallon gray, and 20 gallon black tanks. Down here is the water heater. It is a gas water heater. Just flip the switch, six gallons. To the right, 
the water pump switch. All very accessible right here. Now we've made it to the best part of the trailer. They call this a hatch because the rear wall of this trailer opens up. Now, right now we have the screen down, but this entire wall is open. If you were someplace nice instead of in our shop, this would be a beautiful view. Dinettes on both sides, windows on both sides, even storage on both sides. But let's face it, the view is really the best part. Now, the table can go anywhere. It's pretty easy. Just slide it around. There is two tables, so each side can have their own table. But we have stowed that right there at the end. It's easy to just put it away right there. This one you could do the same and have a full open space if you didn't need the table. Um, it's so nice to have a place to be able to put the table if you didn't want it up. The other thing that I probably would do is set the table outside so that underneath the hatch I could have it outside to, I don't know, serve off of, maybe set up a grill, uh, fix meals, whatever I needed out there. The other option is that you could take one of those panels and run it across here, move the cushion so that you could have a U-shaped seating to maybe stare out at the river or whatever beautiful view you had behind you. Um, lots of ways to configure this space, but it is really nice and open. And the screen is great. Can you imagine being at the beach with this screen? And it keeps the bugs out, but you get to sit here and listen to the ocean roll in. I think that sounds fabulous. Let's take a look at the storage real quick. Move this a little bit out of the way. And right up here above this window is more storage. We've got about 12 inches deep here. You know, it's not a really tall cabinet, but you could fit a lot of gear right up here. You've got storage on both sides, speakers for that Furion stereo that we looked at up there, right above us. Play a little music while you're admiring the beauty of the outdoors. Now, if you did turn this into a bed, it's 46 inches wide and of course over 80 inches long. So a nice space for adults. Move this out of the way. Before we go take a look at the bathroom, which we haven't looked at yet, I wanted to show that there are two tie down rings here at the bottom because this is a great space because you've got this big opening back wall to put maybe, I don't know, a dirt bike or any other type of things you'd want to put in here. You can have room for gear, tie it down so it doesn't move around. Now there are 120 plugs on both sides. So if you're sitting back here working on your computer, easy to plug them in and get the great view. Great space. There is also tie downs on the floor. So if you needed to put some equipment down, maybe, maybe even a dirt bike, whatever it is you want to take with you, you can use those two tie downs to keep it secure so it doesn't move around. All right. Well, we haven't looked at the bathroom, so let's go take a look at that before we go to the outside. Now this space really has some move around room in it. You've got plenty of elbow room right here around the toilet, a lot of knee space, and really a very nice size shower. I hadn't mentioned it yet, but the height of this interior is 78 inches. So this is six foot six inches tall to the ceiling. Most of you know, if you've seen my videos before, I'm five foot tall. So I like to mention that so you'll know if that's gonna be comfortable for you. Why mention it now? Because when you step into the shower, it's gonna be about six foot two. A little shorter in there in case that's really important for you, again, a decent sized shower space, especially for a 22 foot trailer. However, it does bring the ceiling down just a little bit. You step up into the base of it. All right, well, there isn't any storage in here and there isn't a sink. Uh, that may not work for some people, but the sink is right outside and storage space would be easy to add. You've got a wall back here where you could easily put some hanging pockets for keeping gear in, command hooks for towel hanging, lots of ways 
to make it work for you. I would also add a shower curtain in here just to give it a little more warm feeling, a little easier than having the vinyl shower curtain. I think we've covered most of the details on the inside, but there's more to see on the outside, so let's go. The Escape has an off-grid off-road package that's available. And before we show you the details on the outside, let me tell you everything that's included in that. It is the 100 watt roof mount solar, a thousand watt inverter that we showed you on the inside. You do have a port on the outside for a portable solar panel for additional solar power, a bike rack, a griddle, Bluetooth speaker with the docking station on the wall inside, 15 inch aluminum wheels with mud tires, an additional four to five inches of ground clearance, heated holding tanks, and extra sturdy double entry step. Very cool package if you wanna get off the beaten path. Now let's get started. I'll show you some of the outside features. Now coming out of the trailer, fold away handle right here to make it easy to get in and out, especially if you're on rough terrain. Nice little hook right here for a leash, a pet leash. I love the little dog footprint right there on the front of it. But this could be handy for so many things, just to hang right here by your door. Furnace outlet right here for the 20,000 BTU furnace and 110 outlets. In case you wanted to set up a TV out here or maybe patio lights, anything like that. There is a low point drain sign right here because Right about in the center of the trailer is the low point drains for your hot and cold water lines. Gives you an indication of exactly where to look underneath the trailer. And those aluminum wheels with the mud tires like we talked about, great for getting off the beaten path, part of the off-grid package. The Suburban Griddle, I mentioned it in the off-grid package and it is so nice for cooking outside, great for steaks, great for scrambled eggs, just about anything. You will love working with it because this top comes off really easy to clean. That's what I like best about it and just drops right back on. Now around here, this is the best part of this trailer. This rear hatch opens up, gives you complete access to the outdoors, the screen that can be added. Now you can always unzip the screen to go in and out from here, but you could also roll this up or take it off completely and just have open air. Really nice feature on a trailer this size. Now to open the hatch, you unpin and fold down the spare tire, which is mounted on the back bumper and open that hatch, very easy to do. You notice there is a cover on the window there. You can unsnap that. Uh, when you fold this back down, if you don't open the rear hatch, you still can see outside. Great feature. Now, I just can't say enough about how this feels when you're inside the trailer. You really have to experience it to see how great this can be. There is a cable connection right here. If you're at a park that has cable, you can connect it right there. Now up above, you'll notice it is pre-wired for the backup camera and the backup camera is inside in the cabinet. We haven't installed it yet, but it is an option on this trailer and always a great option, particularly if you know you're gonna be backing this trailer up for the best view. The 30 amp power cord plugs in right here on the side and right in front of the wheel is where you'll find your black and gray tank dump right here. Easy to get to, you've got black on the left, gray right here in front. I just love how easy this is to access because you've got such huge ground clearance here. Right underneath the bed, we saw the water heater and this is the vent on the outside of that. Just in front, that 30 gallon fresh water tank. Now the fill for that tank is right here and the city water connection, if you wanna hook directly to the hydrant, is just underneath. You do have stabilizer jacks on all four corners, of course. And the front of this trailer has the nice rounded look. This frameless front windshield, just gorgeous. I, I love the look and feel of the front of this trailer. This escape line has got a rock guard underneath, the rounded front. Now this is 
just like the windshield on your car, so it's very durable. No worries about that. This does have the jacket bike rack on it. That is part of the off-grid package that you get. Um, there is a piece that sets right in here, fits two bikes, 20 pound propane, batteries right behind with a disconnect. You certainly can add an electric jack to this at the dealership. That would be one of my recommendations with this trailer, simply because once you add the bikes here, sometimes this can get a little tougher to work with. Again, not a big deal to do, isn't terribly expensive. On the front corner is going to be the outside plug for the portable solar panel. Just plug it in right here, set it out in the sun, and it's gonna charge the battery directly. Now you can have the outside solar panel to add to the 100 watt solar panel that is already on this unit. Now, if you look inside this compartment up on the roof, you will see the 1000 watt inverter that we talked about on the inside. Now that is included in the off-grid package. And again, that is what takes the battery power and turns it into household current. So it will run the plug in the kitchen. Great addition, part of the off-grid package. All right, this is such a nice trailer. It's got great features, very affordable, very comfortable. Sturdy step. I'm going to show you how it just folds directly into this camper. And you'll see how easy it is. Just lifts up right here, clips in, and you're ready to go. What a great trailer. Now, let's put the awning out so you can see what that looks like, and we'll be right back with you. I've showed you lots of great things about this trailer. I know I might have missed something, so if I did, please comment below and let us know. We'll answer your questions as quickly as we can. In the meantime, if you want to see more walkthrough videos, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell if you want to be notified every time we put out a new walkthrough. Thanks for watching. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas, and I'll see you next time.